We're on our way to Durango. Durango! Michaela, what are we doing in Durango? I'm gonna play a soccer tournament. Hey! At Fort Lewis College. Why do we like this tournament? Because it's Durango. Any What's... excuse to go to Durango is a good excuse. Why do we like Durango? Because it's just really awesome. It's pretty. And it is good weather. It's much better than playing in Phoenix. Yes. There's a truth to that. So what are we looking forward to doing in Durango? Sleeping. Playing soccer. So go. I found out that there is a fish hatchery. Yeah, that went over really well. Okay. <laughs> that used to be a fun thing to do. Um, We've apparently grown out of that. Yeah. And the honey bee, the honey plant. Oh, I do want to go to the honey plant, the, the bee store. Oh yeah. 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 It's That's gonna be mind. fun. Twice. Yeah. Are we ready to go? Yep. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So it's time to fill in a few of the blanks from our trip to Durango. One is that it was Michaela's soccer team that was playing in the Durango shootout. And we have loved coming to this tournament since 2017. So like six years, we have these pictures of the girls um, just super cute and super tiny and playing in the tournament. And so that is one of our favorite things to do. After Michaela's first soccer game, we decided to go check out the fish hatchery that is at Durango. And we have explored fish hatcheries before around the Branson, Missouri area. We love them because usually there's a museum and it's free. Um, oftentimes they'll have fish food available for 25 cents, but you can choose to do that or not. And it's just really interesting to see how people farm fish.
right, let's see if there's any trout down there. Ooh, look, Max. Like chasing us. us. They think we're gonna feed them. <laughs> Look at what's happening here. It's like no fish really coming here. Oh, and then everyone is coming this way. Look, they're coming to us too. Oh, they figured us. They think we're gonna feed them. Look, what? Coming. They're coming after you. <laughs> you called them? Yeah. All for your own? when I suggested this adventure was overwhelming. Um, what? Um, so. 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 I did not do anything. I was just like, what is the fish hatch? Fish you don't hatch remember going to the fish hatcheries before? No. So now that you have remember it, what do you think? Now that we are here, now I remember it, and now that we're here, and now that I remember it, <laughs> Look at each guy. <laughs> That's what's called a feeding frenzy.
I would like to hear you apologize for being not excited to go to the fish hatchery. <laughs> uh huh. Even you, you, sir. Me. I, there was no response whatsoever when I suggested let's go to the fish hatchery. Three times I suggested this. I was never. I was excited to go to the fish hatchery the whole time, so I don't know what you're Always. talking about. Yep. What would you like to say about the fish hatchery, you ungrateful children? There's some tiny little fish in it that we got to eat. It was better than I expected it to be. Oh, I did. Next time I say fish hatchery, what are you going to say? <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Rooster? <laughs> I'm going to crow like a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next step is... Are we going to go to Honeyville first or James Ranch first? Uh, well, I think we should probably go to James Ranch first, get some food, and then Honeyville after James Ranch. Do you guys remember James Ranch from when we were here before? Yes, I do. So it's going to be great, right? It will be great. <laughs> All right. Because Durango's awesome. Bye. True. I do think you should go to the goat pen. <laughs> We're gonna go in the goat pen. You ready? God, look at the little milking stand. No, you feel. Oh, yeah. Hi there, Dandy. What's this one's name, guys? Look at that. No, stop. <laughs> huh? What's this one's name? Lion, I think. Lion? How about that one? I think it's Dandelion. Or Dandy? Dandy. They're so cute. Hello. Got him. Haha. Do you like them, Max? I like the little dangly Stop. <laughs> Like the goats. Yeah. I think they're cute little goats. Did you ask him about it? You could probably ask her. Sure, there's a girl goat and a boy goat. Is it? A dandy and lion. Did you did you find out which kinds they were? No. Well, they're a dairy goat, but we don't know what kind of dairy goat. Yeah. They have a dangling. It's a pretty cool place. It's really pretty. Show me. Show it to me. You have to come and be all like, I don't know, it's like. And when you dance, I'm in the group. You make me, you make me, you got it all inside. I don't understand. 
understand it. I'm, I'm not made for Snapchat. I could never survive on there. How's it going over here with this one? It's going good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Her phone just blew in my ear. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. Thank you for this beautiful place where we can be. It's great food that we can eat, just be with us today as we continue this opportunity and the time together. Oh, yeah. We discovered James Ranch when we were with some of our friends who had brought their dog with them. And so we were looking for places where we could eat that were dog friendly. And James Ranch came up. It's a beautiful area with a wonderful grassy area that you can sit and eat in, dog friendly, so many great things. Plus the sustainability that they have as, um, as a business is really cool. The food is delicious and we love exploring their little marketplace where you can get different groceries as well as just cool curiosities. Just down the road from James Ranch is the Pinkerton Hot Springs. We have driven by this place so many times, but we have never actually stopped. It is literally right off of the road and you can explore it with just a few minutes and see the way that the minerals have colored the rocks. It has been used for healing. Uh, many hot springs are often used for healing things. And it's just one of those staples of the area that it was fun to explore. It's a natural hot spring. It's not the same as a geyser. A geyser thrusts itself out of the earth. A hot spring kind of trickles out of the earth. Jumping zone? Yeah. You'd like me to move? You gotta make the leap. Why are you scared of getting muddy? It's still not to get covered in mineral water. It's the top. I'm a little back. Or oh. you. Oh, I didn't fully commit. That's what happens. Cool? Yeah. Are they squishy? Why do you suppose they're squishy? It's because um, either it's minerals that is just on top and it's not actually the rock, or it's algae and then minerals on top. I wonder what type of water algae can grow in, or if it is minerals. And this is all stuff that's been rubbed off. That's the algae.
Sunnyvale has been around for quite a while and it has gone through some major renovations, but we absolutely love seeing the hive that they have inside. The bees come in and out of it at will and you're able to see the different workering of the hives and how the, the bees do what they do. Plus they have all sorts of bee curiosities. So you can get tea towels and candies and liquor, all sorts of really fun things. Our hotel actually had a, a brochure for Honeyville and within it, it was offering four free honey sticks. So we were able to get free honey sticks for us and then we also purchased some extra honey sticks to hand out to all of Michaela's soccer team members and everyone loved them. Sometimes they mark them with a dot too. This one doesn't have a dot. It's let me see. Let me see. The after me is like this. One. You found the queen. Yeah. How many one of these stickers? Where's the queen? He has twenty. I just pointed. There's also one bee going around. It has a larger abdomen than a. Because look at, uh, look at her. She's got that like black dot. Look at that, bee daddy. He has got pollen. lots of pollen. I don't see where he's shaking. He's shaking. See the one that's shaking? Yeah. Not pollen. He's telling everybody where the good. Captain. Captain, you want to get it? You can see him working it and spitting their saliva. This is—they just built this. And then you can see right here, this is like the outline. That's, that's the back, the back one. This is the going to be soccer tournament was great and we loved driving home. It was raining. It's not monsoon season yet, it's May, but we were able to drive through some rain which just brought out the stark contrasts of that area and the landscape. It was gorgeous and as always we're glad to be home. Thanks to Rango.